Uh, can we go to 14th Street? So what are they making a documentary about you for? Because I'm fascinating. I write wonderful music. What kind of music do you play? Uh, popular music. What's your last name? Merritt. Merritt? Yeah. I've never heard of you. No. Stephen is an indie rock god. Some people are good, some people are awesome, and then there's Stephen Merritt. No one else should be trying to write lyrics the way Stephen writes lyrics. I mean, that would be dangerous in the wrong hands. The more time I spent with the music, the more I, I got to think this is really one of America's great songwriters at work. I like your twisted point of view, Mike. I like your questioning eyebrows. He seems like somebody who's a poet inside and like maybe a mean outer shell to protect it. That's what I would guess. That's what I fantasize. There's been some really defeating moments where like I've sat around with major A&R people who've been like, I don't know what your goal is, but like Stephen Merritt is not gonna be like Britney Spears, so where are you going with it? Like they've been very like kind of negative and very like, you know, I'm like, I just think he could write a hit. It was raining broken glass in the forgotten part of town. I may find you on my mind, but the dead love you all the time. You are my nothing. There are some people who have the notion that pop music should be about honesty, that you're revealing yourself. Stephen is just the opposite of that. I think very few people actually get to see his life and his personality. Wearing an earplug, okay. whether John you has started, lips, listen to me. One. There was definitely some kind of perception of Stephen as the grumpy of rock and roll. He made Lou Reed look like little orphan Annie. Ignore the audience and it will go away. I want to be a playboy's bunny I do whatever they asked me to I'd meet people Best of all, Levy Newton-John? I don't think I've heard her version of me and Bobby McGee. That's audacious of her. 